this video, I'm going to show you how you can model lenses and pockets of geology by using AutoCAD Civil feature lines, bright lines and boundaries. So over these regions, you can see that we have the red representing clay sat on top of the green gravel. We also have a region here, a small single lens, again over here, small single lens, and over here we have two clay, but notice this time they're actually sat below the actual gravel. So if we now start bringing on the strata, so let's bring on our clay base, you can see over here, you know, the little marker of the clay strata appears on top of the surface, but here there's no ge geology here whatsoever but the clay still passes through it. So that's the type of issues that we have to model. And if I turn on the rest of these uh, layers, you can quickly see that the actual model at the moment is pretty much a mess. So this is what we've got to look at, how we can tidy this up. So let's just turn off a couple of the layers here now. So let me just change the viewport now, so we have a better idea of the site. And what's going on. I'm going to use a new feature here and actually display some plan strips. These are ideal for looking at what the geology is down the hole while modeling in plan. So you can see the boreholes, the clay at the top. And again, to give us a better idea of what's going on around the site, I'm just going to quickly create a couple of geotechnical profiles so we can see what's going on with the site as we model it. So I'll just put that up in this section up here and I'm going to create a second one going in the horizontal direction perhaps cutting through where we think we have our two lenses so let's start from here go through to here save that, go to the next step and we'll just put that one here as well these are just purely for reference just to give us an idea of how we're progressing with the modeling. Zoom in a little bit closer and uh, you should be able to see, for instance, the problems that we have. In fact, you can just see the little red lines peeking through there where the surface is joining across bore boreholes without actually any data. Let's start the modeling process. So I'll zoom in here a little bit closer and I'm just gonna go and start drawing a polyline and just literally put in where I think the extents of the clay is, so of this particular pocket of clay we have here. I'm just going to repeat the same process, so again just zoom in a little bit closer, uh, start a polyline again, and in this one here again just literally drawing what I think the extents of this little lens is going to be. Okay. And these are just standard little polylines, so I can drag and drop them around and do stuff like that. So we'll make that what I think that lens is, looks like. We're going to carry on doing this process for the pocket of land down here. Now, in this particular case, this particular clay is underneath the gravel, but at this stage it doesn't make any difference at all. I just drawing the particular extents again and finally we've got a lens in the middle here completely surrounded and all we do the same process again another polyline quickly go around and this time I'll make sure I close it showing me again the extents to which I think that clay covers okay what I'm going to do here now is a little bit odd but we're going to come back and use this in a moment I'm going to just draw some more polylines and this is really just to close off those pockets now this can be done very crudely for the moment so all I'm doing is the areas outside my site I'm just drawing in some extra lines just to close off just to close off the actual polygons there are actually two polylines but I'll edit them later on okay so we've done that section I'm going to use draw one more extents around the whole site again you notice I'm just doing it a quick crude extents which we'll use later on and I'll tell, explain how what we'll do now is create our feature lines so all I'm doing is the three feature lines that represent the clay sat on my gravel I'm going to select those three 
polylines and convert them into feature lines. Notice I'm creating a site because I don't want my other feature lines to interact. These ones are all on the same layer. So I'm just going to say they're going to be moved to what I consider as the a sensible elevation for them. So I'm telling it not to erase. That's important, not to erase my lines. But what I do want to do is move them so they're sat. The elevation is sat on my, or sat below my main ground base. For this feature line, remember this is this clay is sat below my gravel. So it's going to be sat below my gravel base. So I'm just going to call that gravel base there for the site name. Again, I don't want to erase the data, but I do want to assign elevation. And as I just said, this is going to be gravel base. So it's actually gravel top, I should say, gravel base. Yes, it's that below the gravel base. That's right. So, okay, we've created our feature lines. What I'm going to do now is pick those three feature lines that are all to do with clay on top of gravel. So those, just those three are selected. And I'm going to go and use the add surface. So the same as we do in a single lens, I'm doing the same work. I don't have to do them all in one go, it just makes it quicker. So I'm now going through the four surfaces uh, that apply. So it's the it's the main ground base we've just done. We're doing the clay top. We're doing the clay base. And finally, we're doing the gravel top. And you should see as we do this in profile, they're all being updated. And as such, we've actually modeled sort of for the, the, the height of the data in this area now. What we'll do is come back and modify the boundaries in a moment. I repeat the process for this feature line. Roof represents the clay under the gravel. So again, we go through the four surfaces, a gravel base to start with. We'll add it as a break line to the clay top, clay base, and finally, as it sits on our sandstone, the sandstone top as well. So we modified the four surfaces. So the actual, a lot of the work has been done, and we'll move it backwards and forwards. You can see, you know, the actual extents are almost correct the problem is if i click on one of these profiles you'll see how with data and if it's crossing all the over where it shouldn't be and of course you can see it in plan where though we have the geology they have these pockets and lenses it actually covers a much bigger area so we need to have a way of cleaning that data out so if i now just turn everything all off turn off all my surfaces i should say and all I'm doing here is turning off my feature lines just to make it easier to select the data I want to work on. So I'm now left with my polylines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pedit command. And if I just select the the bounding lines, the lines I used as my constriction lines earlier on, that represents the extents of my clay. So just quickly selecting these lines. And I'm doing it in multi multi polyline edit mode, and I'm going to do join. So now what we have got is a lot of closed polylines representing uh, my geology. Not quite my geology extents, but you'll see how they get used now. So I was going to bring in my clay top. Just going to do one surface at a time, so it's understandable what we're doing. And what I'm going to do here is select that surface, and then we're going to go and add to it a boundary. Now this is quite counterintuitive. We're going to add a hide boundary and select the outer big boundary I've drawn. It doesn't have to be accurate, but what it does, it hides everything. I've still got that same surface selected. I'm going to use boundary again, but this time hit show and create a whole series of show boundaries. But I'm only going to show the, the surface in the areas I'm interested in. So now you can see why I created these closed polylines for. They're all representing different boundaries around my site. And we just do the same thing again, but this time for our clay base. So we pick our clay base, add boundary, make it make sure it's a hide boundary and select our outer boundary around the outside. So everything disappears. Go through the same process again, but this time doing show boundaries. 
and pick our four different show boundary areas and there we come so that's it done so all I have to do now is let's go and turn on the top and base of the clay so all our lenses and pockets of geology have now all been modeled so as we pan zoom around these are all modeled so we can use it obviously I could uh, use the productivity pack and generate a solid from that or uh, you could take volumes whatever information you want from there all so that's how you model uh, as I say lenses by making sure you use feature lines make them into uh, when you create the feature lines make sure you keep the original entities generate polygons from them and then by using the technique of hiding the outer boundary and then showing the other boundaries you get two results I hope you found this video useful if you have any questions or ideas for new videos please let me know by using the comment box below also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for access to more training videos as we add them for more information on how kinetics can help you please visit our website email us or call thank you for watching